Hello everyone. So I am doing a review. I went to Miss Jessie's hair salon in Soho today to get highlights. I know you can't see the highlights in my hair um, in this lighting, but I got like a honey brown highlights in my head. Um, I just want to talk about my experience going there. So when I walked into the salon, I kind of expected to see people that look like me because it's a natural hair shop and uh, that was my expectations and I know that no one should have expectations but also just looking at the makers of the product um, and I was disappointed when I didn't and that actually made me kind of worried because the woman who did uh, who came over to do my hair she wasn't that knowledgeable about how to handle my hair at all and I'm thinking to myself this is Miss Jessie's hair shop they specialize in products for our kinky, curly, co curly, and coily hair. And they don't have anyone in here with hair like that. So that was disappointing. And it also created some a few conflicts at first with um, trying to blow dry my hair when it, was, when it wasn't detangled. And uh, using heat on my hair without a heat protectant. And also combing my hair with a uh, combing instrument that was too small so uh, there were a couple of times when I had to stop the stylist to tell her what to do or to complain about what she was doing and uh, at, at some point another stylist came over and she started to handle my hair and I felt more comfortable with her because I could tell that she was more knowledgeable about how to handle my hair all in all I would say that they do very good work when it comes to styling the hair they did a wash and go for me after they colored my hair. The color sits my hair very well, but um, again, in the lighting, you can't really see. But they did a wash and go, and the technique that they used for the wash and go, I'm going to start to use it now. They defined my hair, as you can see it, way better than I can would could define it using their products. So I do give them a, an A for that. Um, doing the styles, they can do those the styles really well. They knew how to handle the product well and how to put it in my hair and what techniques to use to get my hair to define with those products. Um, I would say for future, for future, in the future that I am going to prepare my hair before I go to the shop. I will blow out my hair myself with my blow dryer on a low heat setting using a protective heat protectant um, before I go to the shop just to eliminate that whole problem area because honestly if you don't have hair like mine and you really didn't you know they don't really teach handling hair like ours in the beauty shop um, if you don't have this type of hair it's going to be harder for you to handle it when you're doing it um, even the woman's face when she was combing my hair it's like, you know, like, and I'm like, what? You know, she didn't get it. And then at the end, when she saw the outcome of my hair, she, like, picked my hair up and she touched it. And she says, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it. Really? You can't believe it? You can't believe it? That's because you don't know anything about my hair texture. It was beautiful from the beginning when you started to comb it. This beautifulness is the reason why it gets all tangled together because it curls up on itself. I mean, you need to know things like that. You need to know how to detangle my hair without pulling my hair out because when I go to the salon with hair, I want to leave the salon with hair. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, for the hairstyle and the color, they did an awesome job. I would go back there and I plan to go back there in six months because I did a partial color. I want to get my whole head highlighted with this color and get it in bigger splotches. Um, it was $200 for $150 for the color, $50 for the style. Um, so, you know, and also I was paying that much money. I wanted some, uh, I should have got the best experience ever. I mean, they do, they, the staff is very nice there and they also serve you like refreshments and things like that and the place looks really nice so you do get that nice ambiance um, but there was just that little those uh, those few things that did bother me but um, like other naturals that I've seen on YouTube I'm just going to prepare my hair beforehand before going there I'll have it blown up myself and uh, all of the other problems will be eliminated um, yeah so that's my review of the shop I would definitely go back 
um, I would just prepare my hair myself. If you have a looser, curlier texture, they might, uh, they'll, that particular shop in Soho, um, they would be better handling your hair. Um, there were two women in there that I did feel comfortable with touching my hair, but you have to be careful with who you choose. Now that I've gone there, I know who I would want and who I don't want touching my hair. And uh, again, this is nothing against the co-owners because um, from their reviews and people who've seen them, I've heard that they do good work with the hair, but they're only there on the weekends. And unfortunately, I work on the weekends, so um, yeah. I would definitely go back. I do recommend the shop, but again, if you have a hair texture that is more difficult to handle for some people, for a 4B, like my texture, very kinky, coily, and you're very protective of your hair, every little strand, I would recommend you blow yours out before you go there to get anything done to it, other than styling, because of course they would have to wash it and do the styles. Um, yeah, so that is my that was my experience going to the Miss Jessie's hair salon in Soho. Um, I hope this helps. If anyone's thinking of going, I would recommend it. Uh, you know, just prepare. Okay, uh, so I will talk to you guys later. Love, peace, and Afro grease. <laughs>